Good news at 11. Good evening, I'm Phil O'Brien. An organisation advocating for changes to driver licensing says the government needs to ensure testing services have enough staff to keep up with demand. The Driving Change Network says of these 67 testing sites across New Zealand, 25 aren't taking bookings until February or March. National Coordinator Wendy Robertson says ideally people should be able to get a test booking within a fortnight, but up to a month is still reasonable. You should always be backup staff in the case of when the social head or the AA contractors have holidays or illness, you should be a backup so that people aren't affected when test lines go creep up. Wendy Robertson says some people who can't get a booking will stop driving while others will drive without a license. The tool developed in New Zealand is giving online shoppers the chance to avoid buying Christmas presents produced by slave labour. Find Fair is an internet browser extension that marks ethically produced products with an orange stamp of approval in online search results. The co-founder of the ethical brand directory Fair and Good, Susan Maeva, says New Zealanders spend an average of $1,700 a year on products linked to child labour, forced labour, debt bondage or human trafficking. Dr. Maeva says Find Fair helps consumers use their purchasing power to improve the lives of people who make their clothing, electronic goods and food. In Malaysia, the search continues for nine missing campers caught in a deadly landslide at a campsite with the fire department saying the chance...